now let's see a c program in order to implement a linked file allocation algorithm we know that we have three file allocation algorithms sequential linked and uh, indexed so with the help of the file allocation algorithms operating system allocate space for the files let's see the program uh, here we are using uh, stdlib.h why because we are using mlog function for allocating memory for the node mlog function is available in stdlib.h next we are using strcmp function that is available in string.h first let's see the output and then we will see the program so enter number of files 3 so totally we have to give three files details enter file name 1 sample 1 enter number of blocks in file 1 three blocks enter the blocks of the files 11 22 33 so we have three blocks so there is a uh, linker list so a linker list will be maintained by those three nodes so from 11 to 22 we have a link from 22 to 33 we have a link so likewise enter file name 2 let the second file name, file is sample 2 enter number of blocks in file 2 5 enter enter the blocks of the file so totally we have entered 5 blocks so likewise we have provided file 3 information also next the output here is uh, enter the file name to be searched so here what is the file name sample 2 so here sample 2 is available in the list of files so now sample 2 information will be displayed so name of the file is sample 2 so number of blocks are 5 and the blocks that are occupied are 10 15 20 25 30 so that is the output here so let us see the structure here uh, here we are maintaining the uh, nested structure we know what is a nested structure placing one structure inside another structure here we are placing a structure called block inside a structure called file we can access the members of the block structure with the help of this structure variable uh, here the point is uh, uh, the members of the outermost structure variable here this file is called as outermost structure variable whereas this block is called as innermost structure variable here char name of 20 int number of blocks these two are nothing but the members of the outermost structure called file whereas block number here uh, this is innermost structure it has two fields the first field is block field and the second field is next field this is a self-referential structure so here uh, uh, we can access the members of the innermost structure with the help of the outermost structure variable as well as innermost structure variable so that means here we can access name and nob with the help of outermost structure variable called f that is an array of structure whereas we can access the members of the block with the help of outermost structure variable as well as innermost structure variable f of 0 ka dot sb f of 1 dot sb likewise here star sb is the uh, structure variable for the block so here the outermost structure variable is f of 30 an array here an array of structure so totally we can use 30 files but out of 30 files in this uh, example we are using only 3 files uh, next let us see the inputs here i is an s of 20 uh, next here star temp this is the structure variable for the innermost structure called block next print of enter number of files this is the input so we have to enter number of files let we have entered 3 so now this for loop will be executed for 3 times so first we have to read the file name so scan of percentage s comma here what is file name name here the name is a part of outermost structure variable so that's why there is no need to use the innermost structure variable so f of i dot name that is enough likewise nob is also the member of the outermost structure variable nob and name are the members of the outermost structure variable so directly we can access with the help of uh, that outermost structure variable now let's see about uh, uh, this blocks uh, reading let us see with the help of a diagram so if you see here 
uh, for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus uh, so first we have read it name file name information next uh, next number of blocks now we have to read the blocks information so here we are maintaining the blocks with the help of a linked list so the first statement is here we have to allocate the memory for the block so f of i dot sb why because uh, that is that block is available in outermost structure variable called f if you see here this block is available in outermost structure variable called phi so that's why we must use outermost structure variable as well as innermost structure variable f of i dot sb equal to struct to block star ml of size of struct to block so that the memory will be allocated for the corresponding block so if you see here the block totally contains two fields what is the first field the first field is block number the second field is next field so if you see here this the first field is block number whereas the second field is next field next field contains address of the next node so this is nothing but a second node and this is nothing but third node okay so f of i dot sb in the first iteration what is i zero so f of zero dot sb let us assume that the address is thousand so it is stored at thousand next temp equal to f of i dot sb so here we are using temp for traversing from one node to another node so now temp is placed at f of zero dot sb next we have to store uh, some value in the corresponding uh, uh, block number field so that's why we are using this statement scan of percentage d comma m percent temp arrow b n o so let the block number is 10 so now the 10 will be stored in temp b n o field next here we are storing the null so now initially null will be stored okay next uh, next here we are reading more than one block of data so that's why we are using a for loop for j equal to 1 why because already one block is read it so we have to read the remaining two blocks so that's why one is enough if we use zero then what will happen is uh, three blocks may be read it okay so for j equal to one j less than f of i dot n o b so let us assume that number of blocks are three so one less than three condition is true now what will happen one more block will be created so this is that block this is that block so what is this block address 2000 so that 2000 will be stored in temp next so temp means 1000 1000 next means this 2000 okay so this uh, this node address will be stored in temp next temp next okay next after that we have to traverse the temp from first node to the second node so that's why we use a statement called temp equal to temp arrow next now temp will be placed to 2000 why because what is temp 1000 what is 1000 next 2000 so temp will be placed at 2000 memory location now okay uh, next what will happen scan of percentage d comma uh, m percent temp arrow block number so once again we have to place a block number in the uh, corresponding node field okay so here let the block number is 20 so now 20 is stored in temp temp block number okay so once again the for loop will be executed j plus plus 2 less than 3 yes condition is true so temp arrow next equal to so one more block will be created and that block address will be stored in this temp next next we have to traverse the temp to the its next node that is 3000 3000 okay uh, next uh, scan of percentage d comma m percent temp arrow b and go let the value is 40 next j plus plus what is a value uh, j value is 3 3 uh, 3 3 less than 3 condition is false so this for loop won't be executed okay so uh, the last node next field always contains null so that's why we use this statement temp arrow next equal to null so in this way we can create the list it is like a single link list to create operation only uh, next we have to display the file name content so for that purpose uh, uh, we are using this statement let us uh, let us display the output now let us display the output now yeah so reading is over next to print of enter the file name to be searched so scan of percentages comma yes we can use gets also but if you use scan of we should not give uh, any space in the file name so file one is enough file space one that is not that is incorrect why because scan of function can't reach the blank space 
uh, next for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus if str cmp of s comma we know about str cmp function it will simply search us whether our string is present in list of file names or not if it is present then it will use the zero so if it is present then what will happen break statement will be executed so whenever break statement is executed then the control comes out from the for loop okay suppose let us assume that here the condition is uh, uh, let us assume that uh, uh, our string is not present in the list of files then what will happen assumes that n value is 3 so when the condition is false 0 less than 3 true 1 less than 3 true 2 less than 3 true 3 less than 3 condition is false so whenever i becomes 3 then the condition is false so control comes out from the for loop if i double equal to n so 3 double equal to 3 yes condition is true file not found will be displayed but here i value is not equal to n so that's why if that if is false why because our string is present in the list of files so else block will be displayed so first here what we are displaying we are displaying the file name next we are displaying the next here we are displaying the number of blocks as well as we have to display the blocks occupied also so temp equal to f of i dot sp so initially temp will be placed at the first node so next here we are using a for loop in order to display the data so let us see here uh, let us see the diagram so temp equal to f of i dot sp so temp will be placed at f of 0 dot sp for j equal to 0 here we are using 0 why because we have to display 3 nodes so 3 0 is less than let us assume that we have 3 nodes 0 less than 3 condition is true so print out percentage d comma temp arrow b and bo what is temp arrow b and bo 10 so the 10 will be displayed next to temp equal to temp arrow next so next temp will be placed at 2000 next 1 is less than 3 yes condition is true so now this value will be displayed 20 will be displayed next 2 less than 3 condition is true so 30 will be displayed next to 3 less than 3 condition is false so we don't get any output so if we run the program then we will get the output like this okay already we have seen the output uh, already we have seen the output so we will get the output like this we will get the output like this i will share this program code in the first comment so please go through that for the comment so this is about uh, uh, linked file allocation technique